Yeah, Jacob Wilson defeated um, defeated uh, Alex Aronchuk in uh, game one. So now we'll have a look at the table three, which is Thomas Brunner on the left, uh, piloting Sneak and Show. Uh, he's playing as Thomas Ennewaldson of Denmark. Who's on the right? He's running um, Death in Texas, Mono White Disruption, White Weenie. It's not really White Weenie. No, it's, it's, it's basically all utility creatures, like Talia, like uh, Slow Down Your Opponent, Mangara, Mirroring Crusader, Sto Liquid. Stoneforge Mystic, so many. Four Fire Action Revoker. It, I haven't seen that, ar that around uh, for a while, and just four of them. It, and it's a great card in this format, like Death Ride Shaman, been ripping apart everyone, and, and Sneak Attack, yeah, sorry, you're not going to use that one. Yeah, yeah so, the life totals here are not correct, but they're very almost there. Uh, Christoph Bern, most likely on 18 life. And Even 16, two fetches and an attack 16 from 16 and an attack from Talia, yep, correct. And uh, maybe Horizon Canopy will step for some mana, but... Um, we don't know for sure. Uh, there we go. So Thomas Hanel is still in 20. And, and we're already seeing the power of cards like Talia combined with Reshadon Port. Like, tap down your only red source. And Talia means preordained, costs two mana. Like, dig digging for cards is harder when you have to pay one, one extra for every Brainstorm or preordain. Yep, uh, planes for Thomas Animals and does seem to have another plane. Then a Ganjo Castle in his, in his hand. So not that much action. He does have a Mangara of Corridor. Yeah, but playing the Mangara would mean he, he, was, he isn't able to use the reset on port, so yeah. he's just waiting a turn. Yeah, and taps down the Volcanic Gal and now leaving up mana to sacrifice the Horizon Canopy to maybe draw some action. And, and the Mangara, if, if Christopher Brunner chooses to go for show and tell, it can enter the battlefield as well. Hmm. So, yeah, now we saw Christopher uh, Brunner actually has another Lotus Petal. Yeah, pays the mana for the Lotus Petal. And passes the turn? Yeah, he passes the turn, holding Intuition, Sneak Attack, Grizzlebrand, and another land. Yeah. City of Traders, that's actually good, a good land to circumvent the Thalia, but it doesn't actually, he could actually have played the, uh, the Show and Tell that he has in his hand, but decided against it. Yeah, well, he knows the cards in Thomas and Avoldsen deck, he knows there's some Mangara right there, so he, he just want to go for a hard cost, mm -hmm. uh, Sneak Attack, and then finish the game right there. Yeah, another Arishan Ford. Thomas Animal still doesn't play anything. He seems to have a, a bit of a slower draw. I, I believe he mulliganed this game as well. Looking at the cards, he, he has like one Talia, one Mangara, and only lands. So I believe he mulliganed this game. Thomas Animals in here on the right from Denmark. Won his WMCQ last week. Now followed up with GP Top 8. That's a very solid result. And he's been running the deck for, uh, for ages now. Uh, at least a year or two back, he w he played it to a top four finish uh, at the Star City Games Open, so he has quite a lot of practice with it. And now he's facing against Christoph Brunner, Christopher Brunner from uh, Germany, who is down to 12 life. This is actually Christopher Brunner's first constructed GP, which is amazing, and he al already top eight. That's a nice conversion rate. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Christoph Brunner plays a lot of Legacy, like. It, it just, you know, these legacy players, they play at their home table, on the, on the kitchen table, to be, to be saying. They play against friends, and then they just come to Grand Prix with all of their friends, have a lot of fun. Yeah, and then, oh, I made top eight. It, it's just a, a great thing to, to be seen. Here comes the, uh, there was an attack and a Mangara of Corridor being played. And doing upkeep, tapping down the Volcanic Island with the Russian port, taking uh, damage to the Horizon Canopy. But now, Christopher Brunner. Yeah, he can sneak attack. It's it's five mana, but thanks to City of Traders, he will still have two mana left. He can pay seven to draw seven with uh, with his own uh, Grizzle Brand, and then he just has to find the the, the Yamrako. Yeah, he, he does have uh, seven turn uh, seven cards to uh, to go for. Yeah, here's the sneak attack. Sacrifice it for red mana. Grizzle Brand comes down. Uh, pay seven. Yeah, pay seven to go down to five and not draw seven cards. He's, he's looking at drawing uh, an Emrakul here. One, two, three, still an Emrakul. Freelance, another Grizzlebrand. That's also a possibility. Yeah, another That's Grizzlebrand is very good as well. Like, he can attack now, draw seven, and then threaten a blocker at instant speed should Thomas go, uh, go on the attack. 
Yeah. Uh, the judge there is just confirming life totals to make sure that uh, both players have the same. And yep, th that uh, Grizzleban will die at the end of the turn after hitting for seven, but yeah. being able to sneak in the other one and still block the Thalia. Yeah, like Mangara could this will probably destroy uh, sneak attack, but then the the. The show and tell next turn will just put into play another Grizzlebrand. It's very likely. Yep, so that dies, and uh, Christopher Brunner will have to discard because he has way too many cards in his hand. Yeah, discards the Father's Strand and the Volcanic Island. He has plenty of lands. Still, actually, he could decide to play the Misdirection if he wanted to because he does have the Lotus Petal um, to pay for the Thalia. Yeah, but misdirection not going to help against Mangara. It's nope. only spells. It's an ab ability, yep, so yep. that's not going to help there. It, it's going to help against Swords to Blow Shares, for example, but not against a thing like Mangara. Yeah, so now, there's an Aven Mind Sensor uh, in Tom's Animals in hand. Probably a, a bit too late here. He, he would want, ideally want the, uh, the Mind Sensors um, to be played in response to Scalding Torrents. Calling or intuition, intuition. A very, a very powerful card against intuition because you need to find if you want to tutor for something, you just want to grab three of the same copies. But it's not going to be very likely that three of the same copies are, are there in your top four, <laughs> yeah, very unlikely. So we can go for three different cards, uh, but it's going to be the worst one, second or basically the second worst one of the top four cards. So, yeah, uh, Thomas Enneboltson can place in another land. He, we know that he has had plenty of them. No other plays until the Mangara played, so he has a very passive game. Yeah. Did seem to mulligan as well. No either vial, no, no fire action revoker because that's that's the card you're looking for against sneak attack. For fire action revoker stop stops it, and then all of a sudden the the sneaky show it has to go through show and tell. But show and tell is pretty weak against cards like Mangara against against Caracas. It's bad against against Oblivion Ring, which we know. They are cyber. The Death in Texas is cyborging. Yeah, so Talia swings in for two. No Grizzle Brand from uh, from Christopher Brunner. He he didn't uh, put it to block there. He's just waiting. He has time now that he has a sneak attack in play. I probably would have gone for it there because if you play it, then he, or Thomas Anderson has to destroy it with with the Mangara. But that means the sneak attack stays into play. Mm -hmm. Now, if Thomas just goes for sneak attack in his turn... In his main phase. Yeah, in his main phase. Yeah, it, it could prove to be uh, really good for him. Yeah, but Thomas is just making sure that he's going to go for the right play. Still, that Thalia proving to be quite annoying for Christopher Brunner because it just uh, makes his Ponder cost 2, Show and Tell cost 4, Intuition cost 4. But he actually passed the turn. Yeah, he, the Volcanic Island. he feels like Christopher doesn't have doesn't have this, the Emrakul. He, he he basically knows that because otherwise Christopher would have gone for it last turn. Mm -hmm. So the only fatty Christopher could have is another Grizzlebrand. Yeah, so Grizzlebrand can get can taken care of with the Mangara. So yeah, but, na yeah, but now uh, uh, in response to Richard for tapping down the the Volcanic Island, uh, Christopher Bruno plays the Intuition, most likely going for uh, for three Emrakul. But now Thomas will respond with Mangara, I, I believe. So three mana, even mind sensor. As I said, <laughs> very good card against yeah, intuition. Tricky card. And now the intuition, he will most likely let it resolve. Yeah, so <laughs> both by checking on how this interaction works. So Christopher Bruno will be able to search his top four cards. Uh, for three uh, cards. Uh, so he'll definitely get a, a one card into his hand, but probably not going to be very good. The worst card will go, will go well, they, they will have to shuffle now, and then the other three cards, Thomas can just pick one and give, give the worst to, to Christopher Brunner. There we go, the fetch land will most likely, will yeah. most likely make it to... Yeah, the, the second intuition is also not very good. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. So actually, Thomas Anderson could go for that, but... Uh, yeah, the the flood strand doesn't do as much because it would force Christopher Brunner to. Yeah, it gives him the intuition. Yeah, with I've even mind there, you know the the sneaky show deck. It's not running main deck removal spells. Uh, you like, the the even mind intuition a very bad card at this point. Yeah, I still have to shuffle the library. So now uh, Christopher Brunner will draw uh, a fresh new card. 
And yeah, now he's only on 10 now, so one more attack actually. Uh, once, the, once the Sneaky Show player is on the 7 life, 7 and less life, sorry, you, you lose a little bit of flexibility on your Vision Brand because you have to attack before using the ability and just puts a little bit of hurt on you. Correct. And Spellfear is not being a card you wanted there. So even after uh, attacking with Vision Brand and drawing 7 cards, he doesn't have as much going, uh, going there. Yeah, now he will use this uh, sneak attack to put in the Drizzle Brand. If he draws seven cards, he goes down to three life, which means on the next attack he will be dead. Yep. Uh, table two, Jacob Wilson against Alex Romanchuk is now one and one. Uh, the Russian player uh, evening it up against the, the American there. So and here comes the Drizzle Brand. I, I don't really understand why he doesn't just draw seven cards before the attack. Like if he if he would have drawn the Emrakul, that would have would have been game. Yeah. Then at that point, Thomas would have to respond by basically destroying the sneak attack because otherwise, there's a good chance there is an Emrakul on top. Yeah. So the Mangara Corridor gets rid of the Grizzle Brand. And Christoph Brun just passes the turn now. Yeah, he can play anything. Well, he can play, but then it would cost him the Lotus Petal. Which he wants to keep for future turns. So, yeah. Uh, so now. Uh, Thomas Animalton has a Stoneforge Mystic in his hand. Yeah, which could surge a Jitter, which is a fine card, right? Not very powerful. Banner Skull, also not very powerful in this matchup. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him cyborg out these Stoneforge Mystics and his equipment package. Yeah, it's a, it's a great source of card advantage for him, but it does, it's just really slow against such a, yeah. such a deck. And he, I, I, he has a lot of uh, cyborg cards that yeah. can come in. He, he will be bringing in either Sword Cannonist, which is not the best card, but still great if your opponent is looking to cycle every turn. Okay. Then there's Oblivion Ring, Leon in the Relic Warder, pretty good card. Pitting Needle, sure. Relic of Progenit is just to cycle maybe. Yeah. Cataclysm, also a very good card. Yeah, the opponent doesn't have a, doesn't have a fed yet. Yeah. He can do a lot of, lot of damage. So he goes to Stormforge Mystic, uh, fetching Nomizawa's Jite, which will, will not be played. Uh, uh, we're quite certain. I think uh, Thomas will just go for, for tapping down the two lands with the Russian, Russian ports. Yeah, the, tapping down a card like City of Trade is so crucial. You're, you're denying your opponent from two colorless sources, which are, of course, of crucial importance because of the Talia. Yeah. Uh, so now also plays uh, a Genjo Castle, which does prevent two damage. Yeah, he oh, he play, does play the Jitter. He does play the Jitter for three mana. He did play a land, so he can now actually uh, equip it and attack. I, I'm a bit surprised by this play, to be honest. Like, you're, you're leaving your opponent with three extra lands by tapping those, down, down those two, two Reshadon ports. I, yeah. I, I would have waited. Yeah, basically what he wants to do, he uh, attacks Christopher down to eight. And now if, uh, if Christopher draws uh, an Ember Cool, he, could, he actually can survive that. Oh yeah, he, he can. You know, he can uh, even he can block the the Emrakul with the even mind sister after sacrificing six lands. But then does he mal does leave him a point short to kill his opponent? Here's the ponder for two mana, uh, so one mana floating. Brainstorm, fetch land. <laughs> oh, shuffle. So no Emrakul yet. One time, dealer. One time. <laughs> That's what Christopher Brunner is certainly hoping for. Very tense match here. And you see, this is kind of the disadvantage from the Sneaky Show deck. We've, we've talked about it this weekend. If you get one piece and you don't have the second piece, then you don't do a lot. And you, st you have to start digging. But with a card like Talia in play, your digging cost, costs you a turn most of the time. Another ponder for Christopher Brunner, yeah. <laughs> Come on, dealer, Mr. another Emrakul, time. Double Emrakul. Double Emrakul. That's actually very good for, uh, for Christopher Brenner. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Animals now sees that. Whoa. Yes, uh, it seems he has, has an Emrakul. Yeah, the problem is, though, that uh, at the end of the turn when Emrakul dies, yes. uh, he, gets, he will shuffle away the, the one. It, it, I hope on may, maybe Christopher thinks about it and he plays another ponder in his turn to draw it. He does have a, does, he doesn't have a brainstorm. No, he, he doesn't have another brainstorm or a ponder, so he cannot draw the second Emrako. So sometimes Emrako, not the best card if, if it shuffles your graveyard. He might not get there nope. this time around. So, yeah, uh, 
sneak attack puts the Emrakul into play, annihilator triggers. Uh, so now Thomas and Wilson thinking about which six permanents to sacrifice. <laughs> annihilator six, so devastating. 15 15 flyer, also nothing to sneeze at. Decent? Yeah. Uh, we've seen better. Mm, no, mm -hmm. I don't think. Yeah, Emrakul is probably the best creature in Magic when it comes to just pure. What's on the card? Yeah, that, that, that's definitely true. Like, you get another extra turn if you cast it from your hand, and now you're the six. Yeah, just a very, very strong card. Yeah, so Thomas Henry Wilson now seems to get rid of his lands. He has plenty. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of options here. He could choose to keep some lands or just get rid of all his lands and yeah. keep just his creatures. It seems like he wants to keep the Horizon Canopy. Um, which if he hadn't used it so so much, now we could uh, could have actually just gained four life over the Umzawa's Jute. Yeah, would be at sixteen, and could even take the damage and would kill uh, Christopher Burn on the the counter swing. So, <laughs> or is Horizon Canopy not proving uh, the best. Well, there's there's only a one in in the deck of uh, Thomas Anavolson, and it's still a very good card. If if you flood out on land, you you sometimes just draw a card. And, and it gets you out of situations just because it can cycle. Yeah, so uh, eight mind sensor blocks the uh, the Emrakul. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic and five lands hit the bin there. And so now Christopher Moon has to decide uh, what he wants to do with that. Yeah. So end of turn, Emrakul gets some great shuffles. Unfortunate shuffle, to be honest. <laughs> For Christopher Moon, certainly. He had another Emrakul on top, which would give him the game on the following turn. And now Thomas Animals has a two-turn clock. Two-turn clock, Talia is still into play, and we know Christopher is out of uh, uh, Brainstorm and Ponder cards. Just some Force of Will, show and tell in his hand. Not much he can do right here, but hope for the deck to deliver the goodies. Yeah, again, also Grizzlebrand still could do something here, but... Uh, if, uh, if Talia attacks for enough damage, then he would be forced to attack with the Grizzle Brand first, and then maybe draw some cards. So, not in the best of shapes. So, Talia with a Jitte and two counters. A Wasteland. Yeah, definitely good, good draw. Like, yeah. it, it's one of these few cards which you can actually play, use it, and then still tap down tap down the City of Traders. Yeah, you can actually even uh, decide to destroy the City of Traders and, uh, or like destroy Volcanic Island. Yeah, he has a lot of options to, to consider here. And uh, if I were Thomas, I would attack for four here. So in that way, you will have three counters left on your Jitta. You can gain six, and then you're up to 17, so one Emrakul doesn't kill you. Yeah, but the problem is that he will have to sacrifice all of his permanents. Well, uh, I'd rather sacrifice all of my permanents than be dead. True. Yeah, some of them still could, uh, uh, could win from that position, but also very unlikely. But now that the even Mind Sensor is off the table, uh, that intuition that he decided to give him earlier comes back into play. It might come back to haunt him. Oh, it does. That... that that's actually something I, w I didn't think of. Yeah, and uh, we know that there's uh, certainly enough Emrakuls uh, in uh, Very uh, interesting. Burner's deck. So giving him the intuition at that point seemed like the right decision, but right now it's actually coming to hound him, and the, the fetch land, land, land wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, Thomas Animal is actually also electing uh, to not... The, the wasteland. There. Yeah, just knowing what's up, knowing intuition is gonna fetch the Emrakul. He wants a land afterwards. Mm. Most likely. Yeah, so intuition. <laughs> he, he realizes Both it. players know. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Thank you for that. I, uh, I don't think what I would have done with the land, so here comes triple Emrakul. <laughs> Will Thomas Anavolton actually survive two uh, Emrakul attacks? Well, it's very unlikely, let's face it. Everything will be gone, just a wasteland in, in uh, Thomas Anavolton's deck, uh, ha uh, hand. Yeah, uh, they're not just trying to make sure if the intuition gets, gets shuffled or not into the library. I think it should. Yeah, so 
it's, it gets shuffled in. And the judge now explaining why that is. It's the fact that uh, during resolution of intuition, uh, it never comes to bend, but the trigger ability waits for a uh, priority to, uh, to be given to a player. Once that happens, the intuition at that point is already in the graveyard. Then it gets shuffled back. It's in the graveyard. Yeah, it's in the graveyard. Yeah. Exactly. So the, the, it's in the graveyard when the Emrakul trigger resolves. And there's a Christopher Bruner still has two Force of Will. So he will have a lot of turns to draw another fatty. Yeah. His sneak attack is still in play. Yeah, so sacrifice the horizon canopy to draw a card. That's why he didn't play the waste time. Gains six off of the Jite. Goes up to 17, but takes 15 from Emrakul. It's now at two. Facing a full hand, Facing including full hand. two Force of Will. Yeah, and Christoph Bruna at, uh, at four life can uh, easily afford to, uh, to even start hard casting those Force of Will. So Thomas Animal is now <laughs> down to two life. Uh, here comes Rochelle Import. Is it Ether Vial? No, <laughs> he's holding Talia Wasteland. So he's looking for a white source. But then the Talia is getting countered. Then he's looking for another creature. That creature is gonna get countered. And all of all the, all this time, Brunner cannot draw another creature because then Thomas is just dead. Yeah. Just so Brunner certainly wouldn't mind a brainstorm here. He has a scalding turn, so he, he would get to see a lot of new cards. Ponder also very good. He, he shuffled his uh, graveyard into library as well, so his threat density is higher. He draws a third force of will. So need four. Thomas needs four creatures now. Basically. Wasteland, yeah, taps down, Ancient Tomb. The City of Traders hit the bin in the previous turn. Uh, Another sneak attack. One is enough. Un unless you, you Mangara gets, uh, destroys the, the first one, so he can still play the second one. It, it doesn't do anything in his hand. But he, he decides to keep up five mana because Force of Will, you know, you can hard cast it. Okay. Here's another spell piece. Yeah, it's a and Thomas Animal just keeps tapping the one land. Christopher Burn doesn't care. Basically, it, it uh, has no effect on the uh, on game. So now Thomas Animal is waiting for a play and certainly has a, a choice to play. Christopher Burn just yeah, passes the turn. Both players are having quite a good laugh about that one because this situation doesn't come up very often. Um, Thomas Animal actually survived the Grizzlebrand attack and two Emrakul attacks. And breaks the revoker. No, you know, no, not no, no. it's not happening. Yeah. See, Christopher Brun is like, no, 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 no. No way. Sacrifice my land. Search for a... Uh, search for a Volcanic Island or a base land. Yep, a Volcanic Island and will hard cast that force of will. No way I'm making that resolve. He said. He started yeah. shaking his hand very vividly there. It, it would have stopped sneak attack and Christopher Brunner is already at three life with, because of the fetch land. So two attacks from a, a little 2 1 is enough. So five mana, counter that. So Burn, yep, uh, looking for some creatures or some card draw spells. Brainstorm. So, will that yield the, the final blow? Island, Volcanic Island, close yeah. No, and now actually he's, uh, he's, he's... He's got to wait three draws. He doesn't have the fetch line now. No. Maybe uh, he, he's reg re regretting not sacrificing that Lotus spell yep. to pay for the Force of Will. He adds this other Force of uh, the Lotus spell to his hand. And he's got a White Source now. Thomas and Watson's White Source. Talia, no, he cannot let he cannot resolve that one. Like if he resolves it, he's drawing two bad cards next turn. Uh, two yeah. next turn. We we know Christopher Bruna has no action in the following turn, uh, turns. Is, is this game shaping up like <laughs> creature, 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 kill you after double Emrakul attack and Grizzlebrand? Yeah, someone here was down to two, still living. Uh, what creature does he have now? Looking at the. Uh, the board. Yeah, another another Talia? Talia? No, 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 no. And uh, another Wasteland. <laughs> yeah, taps down uh, one of the Volcanic Islands again. But now we know Christopher Bruna doesn't have anything on top of his library. Just the land, yep, yeah, as the Volcanic Island. And now it's going to get interesting. Does Thomas N. Wilson have a creature? Ooh, he's very, very fast here. Adds a uh, Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> this is such a great game. <laughs> Uh, and it doesn't 
He that's doesn't look. He's probably holding the better he's skull. He's probably holding the better skull. Yeah, that's another sneaky thing. Christian <laughs> Bronson, still no creatures. He's <laughs> desperately looking for a creature, a ponder, brainstorm, anything, any card drawing. So he just needs one creature to finish off this game. Uh, will we see a better skull being played soon? Come on, Squire, get in there. Yeah, there's the planes passes the turn. He doesn't attack? Why? No. Oh, he's gonna put the better skull into he, play he's next turn. Into play. Yes, it's One more draw. Tops done two lands. So Christopher Bruner, can he top deck? It's a force <laughs> wheel. <laughs> Who would have thought? One turn too late. Was the better skull into play? Yeah, Thomas Anavolch and his little weenies casually <laughs> survived two attacks from Emra Cole and the Grizzle Brand. That's the game. <laughs> <laughs> GG, wow. That, that was uh, one of the biggest up and down games yeah. I've seen in a long, long time. His fans cheering loudly. Wow, yeah, he, he's kind of, he kind of knows he got a little bit lucky there to win that game. Had to, um, yeah, had to um, blank, uh, blank the opponent uh, a few turns.